DJ Yonder is is what we're creating today off of Fortnite. <laughs> What's going on, guys? My name's Anthony or Big B Stats, and this has by far been one of the most requested skins for me to create. So I'm just gonna go in for it, try and create it. If you want to have this character as well, make sure to follow the steps along with me. It'll be my first time as well, so it'll just all be a learning experience. Have some fun, and hopefully, it will look like DJ Yonder. <laughs> Hey guys, before watching this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure you click the bell to stay notified when I will be uploading a video and also live stream so you can be first. Make sure you check the box and press save. And if you have time, make sure to leave a like on this video to show your support. All right, here we go. And it looks like I'm not going to open up a lucky chest. <laughs> Because we're not going into battle, so I don't want to break the tradition. However, we are going to unbox this champion egg. And we got ourselves a hyena. <laughs> Would you look at that? Okay, it feels like a proper Lion King. Uh, now, I have everything... I have everything from li all the animals from the Lion King, I feel like, in my uh, armory. Uh, anyway, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating DJ Yonder. If you don't know who DJ Yonder is, I'll try and you'll probably see the image on the thumbnail. And plus, uh, when we make it, of course, I'll be looking at a picture and trying to make it uh, too. So again, we're going to be trying to give this a shot. But let's take this off so we can see our character. So as you can see, I already made myself. Uh, we made uh, Rust Lord. We also made the Galaxy skin, which was pretty cool. We also made uh, Ragnarok, Ma Ragnarok, max level. We also made level 55 Drift. We've made John Wick. Uh, we've made Thanos. We've also made Sonic. We got Dan to DM, Herobrine, uh, Bindi, uh, and the Ink Machine. We got uh, Derpy John Doe. Uh, some other skins as well. So this is going to be quite interesting trying to make DJ Yonder. Again, this has been requested a lot. So let's see if we can find ourselves a template that kind of goes along with DJ Yonder. Now, DJ Yonder is a metallic... I guess a, a metallic llama, but also has like, I don't know, just just cool looking. Let's just say that. Very cool looking. Um, we just got to find a skin that kind of fits it, but yet doesn't. Just something to kind of guide us, but not like have it, you know, completely, you know, that style. So let's see. What is any, what is something that I could use that I could just maybe change the color up a bit and make this a lot easier? Uh, sometimes having a template helps a lot. But if we can't find one, then we'll we'll just literally start from scratch. That's a very, very creepy skin there. Um, I kind of already saw a skin that I might use. But I don't know yet. Maybe I, I need to find someone with like kind of like something that goes across the chest. Like a backpack, sort of. This actually wouldn't be a bad one here, I think. Hmm. I don't think this one's a bad one. I'm going to keep that one in mind. But to be fair, as funny as it sounds, this rabbit one might also be a good one. Um, only because of the proportion wise. No. Let's see. What about this one? No, not that one. Even if it's something with like jeans, that might help. Uh, this one is kind of, you know what? I think this one, uh, this one too also is crazy. Hmm. No, I don't want that one. Oh my goodness, seriously? All right, back to template. I think I know which one I want now. I know I know the right one I want. This one should be, so let's go back. And it should be this one down here. Now that one should be coming up. Because it's just a little, it's just crazy. And there's a lot of patterns. It's definitely gonna help us figure it out. So let's see. And again, there's no llama skins I don't think in here. Not it. That's not it. That's not it. This one. So we're going to use this one. So this is going to be our, for now, DJ Yonder. Again, it's, it, he has like a, it looks like a hood. Look, okay, anyway. Here we go. Let's start off with this. We'll start off with the face. Uh, so here's the front of the face. So the front of the face, again, is kind of like metallic. So let's go to the our palette and let's go ahead and get ourselves like a, it's almost like a bluish too, which is kind of crazy. No, we'll go with a light, light gray. So about like that. So that's what we'll do. So let's just cover this all in completely. Color this all in completely. This is going to be tricky because he has things that sticks out of his head. So I think as long as we can make him look like a, a llama as best as possible, we'll be okay. So here's his nose like that. 
Then if we go back, we grab ourselves a dark blue. Maybe about like that. That's not too bad. And what we'll do is we'll start working on the shades here. All right, and we gotta make sure we keep this gray up there. There we go. And let's grab this blue. That's it. So we do something like that. So that's kind of like, well, that's his nose. I could drop it down, but I don't know if I'll drop it down to be honest. Um, although, could bring this down like that. And then, let me see, let me try something here. Let's try this. If we have this go down like this, let's just bring this down like this. And then what we'll do is we'll bring the nose here. Hmm. That doesn't look too bad. Maybe here, I'll bring the nose. So we'll do something like that. Yeah, that looks good. I like that a lot. I like that. I like that. All right, so that looks good. And then what you could also do is to add in some detail. It's going to do that. You just add a little bit of... Actually, I can make this darker, to be fair. Like this. Actually, we'll just cover all that in. So it's like that. And... We could actually have the yellow go across like that. That actually doesn't look too bad. And let's get ourselves like a darker gray. And just kind of fill in like the mouth here. There we go. So we do things like this just to add like a little detail. So something like that. That doesn't look too bad. I really like the way this face looks and it really does look like uh, the DJ. However, uh, what we'll have to, so I like, I like that. I'm happy with the face. I'm happy with the face on that. Now the top of the head is a little tricky. Um, let me go ahead and grab, let me grab, ooh, let's grab this light gray. And let's make the top of the head all gray. There we go. Make that all gray. And I have some yellow here. So I think what I'll do is I'll add just some yellow on the side like that. And then we'll have the dark gray going up like this. We can actually do like that. And we'll just go like this. We'll do something like this. There we go. So that's the top. Um, and then I think this also kind of goes across. So we can do something like that. There we go. Uh, the right side, of course. Uh, what we'll do is we will... This kind of has like, so he kind of has like speakers, like headphones on. So let's make this gold here. Let's do like a massive square there. And we'll color the rest in gray. Let's color the rest in here gray. There we go. And the color, let me just match the other thing on the other side. That's it. Let's go there, let's color this in. Keep this just like this. Because remember, he is a DJ. So there we go. And this also goes down, I think. I need to figure out how this goes down. Um, let's see, bottom. Bottom is gonna be gray completely. There we go, just like this. And what we'll do is we'll take the darker gray and just go with lines like this. Just like that. All right, perfect. Actually, you'll start off with a dark gray up top and go every other one. Let's just redo that one. So we'll go like this. Yeah, just like that. Just have that separation. You can even make this a little darker gray, actually. Just the top one. Like that. There we go. All right. Now, uh, as far as the, the color wise, we got pink, green, and blue. So if we do like a pink here, I think this goes, I don't know if this goes in or around. We'll just put a pink here, pink here, pink here, pink here. Grab ourselves a light blue. 
light blue here, light blue there, light blue here, light blue there, and I think a green. So like kind of like a lime green. Lime green, lime green. Bam. So we kind of have like a different design there. Perfect. Really like the way this looks. All right, let's go back. Save changes. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. So now what I need to do is, so in the blue corner, I need to have this kind of go down. So in the blue corner, I need to bring it down yellow here. So if we grab this eyedropper, we bring it down like that. And then I think I bring it down like this. Yeah, like that. So yeah, there it is. So these are like the headphones. So I really, really, really love the way that looks. And if you want, you can also grab like a, Let's say a darker gray here and just kind of go up like this. Uh, let's put this there. So you can even do that. Bam. So it's kind of like he has headphones on. So that that's awesome. I really, really, really love the way that looks. All right. So let's start on the body here. So the top of it, well, the front of this, at least. So that's his, his neck part is, let's grab the eyedropper here though. And what I want to do is, is grab this gray. And we'll start off with the top. Hmm. Let's start with the front. Let's start with the front. So front of the jacket, we need to get, let's make this gray here. We need to get like a, it's almost like a, it's a weird kind of blue that they have. It's almost like this. It's almost like this color. It's like a greenish blue. So now we need to make the hood here. Uh, so it goes something like this and goes down like that, like that, bam, just like that. All right. Perfect. Really like the way that looks. All right. So now we have the hood. Uh, we can add like a little go ring here. Actually, I messed that up. Should be right there. There we go. And then here we have like blue stripes. It's probably easier to grab a lighter green. So if I, I just got to find the right green here. This isn't a bad green. Let's grab. Yeah, let's grab this green. All right. And this kind of goes up like this. There we go. So we'll make this all green and then we'll add the details in afterwards. This is such a weird, it's a weird kind of color here. Like it's almost like a greenish blue but it's still a little bit brighter. Hmm. Now that's the same color. Okay, let's see how this looks. That's gonna have to do. I think that that's a decent color. It can be a, a little bit more blue, but um, now let's go ahead and grab ourselves pink here. There we go. And wait, what I wanna do is, yep, he has like a pink thing here, like under. Um, then we also have yellow, so we have pink that goes from here, then it goes to a blue, and we'll just bring this down like that, then it goes to like a yellow whitish, just like this, this actually goes all the way down too, then we'll go with pink here, blue here, let's grab ourselves, I think it's just really blue and pink to be honest, another pink here, and blue here, bam, alright, now between all of this, there is some yellow, bright yellow lines that go down here, so about like this, something like that? There's a little zipper here. So let's see how this looks. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Again, this is this is a crazy skin to try and create. I should probably also make the neck a little bit longer too, to be fair. So let's make the neck a little bit longer. So do something like that. See how that looks, save changes. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I really, really do like that. All right, here we go. So let's work on the shoulder here. 
So the front of this, well, no, we'll go to the right. We'll go to the right. Let's see, how does the right look? No, actually, let's work on the front. Let's work on the front. I need to grab the eyedropper and get that green. So what I'll do is I'll color in all of this, that green here. Let's grab the eyedropper. And again, for detail, I'm gonna add a little bit of specs around. Just like that. There we go. Okay. All right, all right. Let's color all this in green. Gloves I can almost leave the same, actually. Gloves I can definitely leave the same. So I'll have to fix that on the other one. But yeah, gloves I can leave the same. Um, and the back I'll leave for now. Bottom, I'll leave the bottom top. I'll probably grab gray here. And I'll grab green here. And I'll leave that blue. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, so that's just for the body. I thought those were the gloves, actually. Okay, I guess not. I guess that was for the right of the body. All right, so here we go. Let's work on the front here. So what we'll do is we'll just color all this in green. I was actually on the wrong thing. Let's color all this in green. Actually, I'm just gonna color in the whole thing. Color in the whole thing green. There we go, like that. Let's color this in green. Definitely one of the more complex skins I've ever created, I think, for sure. Um, let's keep coloring this in. There we go. And the bottom, yeah, we'll cover this in green as well. And the top, green too. There we go, so everything should be looking like sleeves, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now what we wanna do is, on the front, we wanna get a dark blue here. Just wanna add this here. Let's make sure I'm doing this right though. Let's see. So this needs to be on the other side. Hmm. Let's see. Um, let's color this back. Let's see how this looks again. That's on the side. So I don't need that, I don't need that. However, I do need a yellow though. Like a goldish. And this needs to go down the middle. Down the middle. Doesn't really matter how perfect it is on the sides. Like it doesn't have to be symmetrical on the sides. Remember it is a shirt, so it should go down like that. Looks good, I like it. And for the front, I think the front, maybe I don't need anything else to be honest. However, I do wanna eye drop this. And I want to make it to where he has like sleeves here. Three, go up three, one, two. Just do that. Actually, I need to go up one more. Maybe something like that. All right. Let's see. That's exactly what I did not want. I accidentally changed the body. But that's okay that the body changed because they don't see that part. <laughs> I accidentally changed the body. All right. What I meant to do is make this the sleeves here. Go up three like this. Don't make that same mistake I did, guys. And the bottom, of course, will make it this color. There we go. So it's like that. So that's how it should look. And then, of course, you can add like some dots in if you like, just for like detail. There we go. Some detail there for the front. Add some dots in. For the top, we'll leave the same. We'll save that. That looks good, really like that. Um, you can always get the cape too if you like. Just need to figure out. I wanna try this. Let's see, if I put this here. I don't know where that shows up. May not be able to actually show that. Anyway, uh, the jeans. Let's work on the jean color here. Jean color is like a light blue. Like a good jean blue here. 
probably about right here, I think. So what we'll do is we'll just color all this in. Let's just color the whole thing in, actually. Actually, I like that blue more. I like this blue a lot more. But, I mean, I think the two blues together look really good. We'll just color this in completely. Turning out pretty good so far. So far, so good. And we'll turn this blue in here. There we go. And the back will do the same. So even if you have some specks of this other blue in there, this is what makes it look good. This, this adds like the detail to it. The top. Just color this in like that. Add a little bit more detail to that. And the bottom. Bottom we want light gray. Light gray. There we go. So there's the jeans. And now what we need to do is on the front, we want this same green here. So we want to eye drop this green. And on the front, we want to bring this down. Bam. So we kind of want to bring it down like that so it looks like kind of like his jacket a bit is going down. Uh, we can only do it on kind of one side. So maybe, maybe if we bring it up a bit more. So maybe we'll just bring it up like that. So we'll do something like that. Yeah, there we go. All right, perfect. We got the jeans. Now it's time to add in the spots. So now we need, again, the spots on the pants, which we have purple as one. So if we just go ahead and grab ourselves kind of like a purple here, more on the brighter side, maybe like magenta. And we got some spots here. Do this as well. It's all a mix though. There we go. Then we got ourselves, let's save these changes. Then we got ourselves some lime green. So about like there. Add some spots to that. There we go. Add this all over. Then we got some yellow. More of a brighter yellow and that goes down here. And this you might just have to scatter in a, a little bit more. Do something like that. And again, the shoes. Oh, I forgot we need the shoes. We definitely need the shoes. All right, so those are the. So that's it for the pants there. I have to get the back sorted too. Don't like the back either. So I'll sort the back out in a second. But with the pants, we gotta we gotta fix the shoes. We gotta get some shoes in here because he does have shoes. So shoes are like pink and gray. Grab ourselves a pink here. And this goes down like this. Shoes go like that. Let's grab a gray here. Bam. Can do something like this. And. Hmm. I might have to do that, I think. All right, let's see. How do I want to do this exactly? And let's grab a purple here. Thing is, I need to I need to match that up perfect if I do so. Although those do look like pretty cool shoes, I'll be honest. Um, I think the rest is. Let me try and just make this gray here. Those don't look too bad, actually. Got his pink shoes there. All right, I like it. I like it. All right, now let's focus on the back and the back of the head, and I think we should be good here. I think. Uh, so the back, the back here. We have our yellow here. Actually, let's eye drop this, just to make sure we have the right color. So we have this that goes down. Can even have that a little bit more going in. And then we can have this gray. So actually grab this gray, the gray of his head. And we'll just color this in. And there we go. Perfect. So that's like the back of his head there. Although, 
That means I need to bring these headphones out a bit more. So I need to bring the headphones out like this. Headphones need to go like that. So you could do that or you could do it from the other side. However, it all depends again how you want to do it. I think that looks pretty good. I mean, the fact that it kind of goes all the way around to the side like that. Either or, although actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna change this up a bit. I'm actually gonna keep this this all gray, and I'm just gonna add some dots here. I don't actually like the way that looks. I did, however, like the way this looked with the headphones. It lo just looked a lot cleaner to me. Yeah, this just looks way cleaner to me. All right, I like it like this. Perfect. All right, so now we have that. We have one more thing to do, and that's the back. So let's work on the back here. The back is, of course, this color. So what we'll do is we'll eye drop this color. And what we'll do is we'll just color this back in completely. And I actually want to eye drop that blue that's there already. Color this in. Let's eye drop this blue. And actually, I want to eye drop that blue. Okay. And for the back, this just kind of goes like this. Then we got like a pink, light pink. This goes down as well. Then we kind of got ourselves a green here. So it's kind of just a mixture of colors, really. Um, and then we got ourselves some yellow. It's pretty much however you want to do this, you can. We'll do something like that. And there we go. I think that looks good. And again, I need to add the hood here. So let's just go ahead and eye drop this green. And the hood should be on the back as well. So let's do something like that. Bam. There we have it. <laughs> Can't believe it. So let's save this. And we're going to be calling uh, DJ Yonder. We finally did it. Quite the long episode, but... Gotta admit, it was not an easy character to make, but turned out very good in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, there you have it, you guys. That's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. That's how you create DJ Yonder. If you would like to see me create some more characters, let me know down below in the comments. Doesn't have to also be Fortnite, it could be some other games as well. Let me know down below again, and I'll, I'll be sure to look at those comments. But thank you all so much for watching. Remember to leave a like and share it. Also, feel free to subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!